How's it made? Oh, hello. Surf Sydney McSprocket here. I've been in action capturing facts all about manufacturing. It's for this rather splendid stipendiary compendium I'm compiling. You just ask it how something is made, and it'll oblige with a fulsome explanation. I'd like to ask it about Pyrex. It's something you might have in your kitchen cabinet. It's a tough glass used for kitchenware. You know, things like jugs and casserole dishes. A Pyrex is much stronger than normal glass. It can be used in high temperatures of the oven without breaking. And none of us want broken glass in a nice casserole. Step one. The first step is to mix the materials. Like all glass, a Pyrex contains silica sands. Not unlike the stuff you build castles with at the seaside. It's mixed with other chemicals which help it to keep its strength. All those ingredients are pulverized. Oh, that means mashed up, so that all the tiny pieces are the same size. Step two. The next step is to add the heat. A lot of heat. The mixture is heated to 16,000 degrees Celsius. Oh, now, if you think that a hot, sunny day we get is about 30 Celsius, you can see you definitely need some protection to be anywhere near all that. Step three. The silica and the chemicals are melted for a full 24 hours. This helps to get rid of any bubbles which might make the final glass weaker. Step Four. The next step is to pour the molten mixture into moulds. A mould is a rigid, hollow shape, exactly the same proportions as the Pyrex item will be. Perhaps a bowl shape or a jug. It must be moulded quickly, as once it cools it will be stiff and strong. Which is kind of the point, but you'll not be able to change its shape once that's occurred. Step five. A final polish and the marks on the item are added. If it's a jug, that'll need measurements along the side. And then it's ready to be packed and sent to the shops. And here's a fun fact about this convenient material. Some people think it's called Pyrex because Pyra is the Greek word for pie. The truth of it is that the company who invented Pyrex made all sorts of dishes and containers, but the first Pyrex item was indeed a pie dish. Oh, so that's the source of the word. Fancy that. <laughs> Oh, now I must get on, but come back soon and find out more about manufacturing with my splendid stipendiary compendium. How's it made? With support from the Royal Commission for the 1851 Exhibition. Find out more at funkidslive.com.